to Configure an Assembly. Activate the tab of the assembly to be configured, then open the configuration flyout. There are several different ways an assembly can be configured. Expanding the pull down menu on the Configure Assembly button displays three options List, Checkbox, and Configuration Variable. Each of these three input types are covered in detail in later videos. When no configurations are present, the Configure Assembly button is selectable and creates a list input. Selecting each of the input types creates a separate table within the configuration flyout. A list input allows a known set of parameters to be selected from a pull down menu. A checkbox input allows parameters to be controlled in an on off state with a checkbox. A configuration variable allows a parameter to be controlled by a range of values input by the user. A user may define as many of each input as needed to create the configured assembly. As each of these inputs are created, they are controlling independent parameters. This eliminates the old CAD way of creating configuration tables that are large and confusing to read, where each row defines a unique variance and all parameters to that variance must be defined in that row. Instead, when defining configurations in Onshape, you define separate tables for each independent parameter. This keeps the table small and manageable and avoids needing to define every unique variance.